Linen or cotton? What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gents, it's your boy Evan. Cotton, we all know what is cotton, right? It is super popular and everybody loves cotton. Linen, on the other hand, although it is also a menswear staple, but it is not as common, it is not as popular, and oftentimes we don't give linen enough love. In today's video, let's talk about the ultimate showdown between the linen fabric and the cotton fabric. What are the major differences? How do we wear linen? And without further ado, let's begin. Okay, first of all, what is linen and what is cotton? Linen and cotton are essentially made from different plant fibers. Cotton, it is pretty straightforward, right? It is made from the cotton plant. Linen is a type of fabric that is made from the flax plant. I know you don't care about all these technical terms. Let's talk about the texture of linen and cotton. When it comes to texture, the feels of the fabric to the hand, cotton are super soft and super smooth right from the start. Linen, on the other hand, feels stiffer at the start, but it will gradually get softer as you wear them more. Now, when it comes to absorbency, cotton, it is a nightmare, right? Cotton is hydrophilic, which means that they attract water molecules. Fun fact, cotton, it is so absorbent that it can actually absorb more than 25 times its own body weight in water. This means that when you sweat in cotton, your sweat will stay in the cotton fabric for quite a long while. Linen, on the other hand, although it is also quite absorbent, it can actually absorb up to 20 times its own body weight in water, but it is more lightweight than cotton because of its looser weave and hollow fibers. Plus, its ability to wick away moisture, therefore, linen will not hold as much water as cotton, making you feel less drenched. In terms of ventilation, the tighter weave in cotton actually makes it a good insulation later because it retains heat. On the other hand, the looser weave and the hollow fibers in linen makes it a superb fabric for airflow and ventilation, making linen one of, if not the most breathable fabric in the whole universe of fabrics. However, when it comes to the cost of linen and cotton, I have to give it to cotton. Due to the abundance of the cotton plantations and the relatively easier production cost, Cotton is definitely more affordable than linen. Not only is linen less abundant than cotton, linen is also more costly and expensive to manufacture. This makes linen at least about 25 to 30 percent more expensive than your cotton counterparts. For example, this cotton shirt, it cost me 40 bucks, but for this linen shirt, it cost me 50 bucks. Okay, now how to wear linen? Linen is definitely a summer fabric. It is meant to make you feel as cool as possible because it does a terrible job insulating your body against the cold weather. Therefore, cotton, in a sense, is a much more versatile fabric because you can pretty much wear it all year round in any kind of clothing, in any kind of scenarios and situations. Situations. But in summer, linen is king. No doubt about that, you can pretty much wear linen in whatever you want. You can wear a linen shirt, a linen shorts, a linen pants, and even a linen suit. The good thing about wearing linen in the summer is that it gives you a unique look, a different texture, and makes you stand out in a subtle way. My favorite way to wear linen is the linen shirt. I can dress it down with some shorts and some espadrilles or I can dress it up with some dress pants and loafers. I did a video on how to rock that linen shirt like a badass. I'll link it down in the description below if you want to check it out. One key aspect of rocking linen is the fit, right? You gotta nail the fit. Fit is always king. But when it comes to linen, the fit is a little bit different. Because linen is typically a little bit stiff, it doesn't stretch. So you want to have a looser and a more relaxed fit. If you tailor your linen shirt or your linen pants to be super form-fitting, you will find it to be a little bit uncomfortable because it will become more tight at the areas where you bend
bend your arms or you bend your knees. So be a little bit more forgiving when you are tailoring your linen garments. I actually prefer the more relaxed fits of the linen garments because it kind of makes the outfit more relaxed as well, which fits perfectly with the summer vibes. That being said, of course, a looser fit doesn't mean that your shirt loses its shape. Your linen garments should still fit your body relatively well. It shouldn't have too much excess fabrics. One thing to take note of when you are wearing linen garments is because of the looser weave, your linen shirt or your linen pants might be a little bit translucent. You gotta take note especially when it comes to lighter colours such as white. So for example, if you plan to wear a white linen pants, you know, don't wear a super bright underwear unless you want the whole world to know how your underwear looks. Last but not least, the most important point that I want to talk about regarding linen is it loves to wrinkle. Yeah, it wrinkles like a it is just how it is. Cotton wrinkles too, right? But not that easily. But linen is on a whole nother level. Because of this, linen is definitely less formal than your cotton. When you are going formal, you don't want any wrinkles, right? You want your shirt and your pants to be as straight and as flat as possible. Therefore, linen is best suited for the more casual occasions. And even a linen suit is a more casual suit. But the wrinkles is also the beauty of linen in my opinion. It gives the linen its character. It gives linen a more chill, nonchalant and laid back look. Which again is perfect for the summer vibes. That being said, if there's a giant crease across your linen garments because you have folded it the wrong way or whatever, then it would just look sloppy, right? But any other wrinkles from your normal wear is totally beautiful. For example, those creases at the place of your body where it bends, like your elbow, your waist, your knees, these are natural creases, which is fine. Now, if you really, really, really want to remove those wrinkles and those creases, then do not put your linen garments in the washing machine and never put them in a dryer. Instead, always hand wash your linen garments in cold water only and just let it hang and air dry. This also prevents the linen garments from shrinking. If you want your linen garments to be as straight and as flat as possible, then iron them when they are still a little bit damp. But know that as soon as you put on your linen garments and start to move around, it will start to wrinkle again. But it's okay, embrace it. That is what makes the linen fabric so unique, so different, so attractive, so bad boy, and so carefree. And that is basically it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell because I will be dropping at least two new dope videos every single week and you just don't want to miss it man once again my name is evan you're watching your average gents and i'll see every one of you in my next video bam